So a few days ago, I posted a video where I was starting to work on preparation for a um, vendor show that I will be doing the first Saturday of December. And in that video, I canned up my special batch of banana nut butter because I have a jam and jelly business. So I had to make up some kind of jam or jelly. So today is number two of what we're gonna be making. Today I'm working on cranberry orange jam. And I've already done a little bit of preliminary work. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. You've seen me do my videos, my canning videos a dozen times. It's the same process over and over, just different ingredients. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what's going on in my special pot. So here I have my fresh cranberries and my mandarin oranges. And they've been cooking down, getting soft and uh, releasing all that awesome cranberry juice. So I'm going to, I've already sprinkled the pectin in. I've let it set for the five minutes like I do when I make all of my jams. And I'm going to bring this to a rolling boil and that's a boil that cannot be uh, stirred down. And then we'll let that boil for one minute and then we'll add our sugar. So I'm going to pause the video again, wait for this to come to a boil, which hopefully won't take very long, and we'll bring you back. Okay, that's perfect. I've got my timer, set it for one minute. Sure wish y'all could smell this. The cranberries mingled with the orange. Okay, now we are going to carefully add three and a half cups of sugar. And we're going to do the same thing let it come to a rolling boil, boil it for one minute. We'll take it off the heat and it'll be ready to put in our jars. Just look how rich and vibrant that is. Okay, it's coming to a pretty good rolling boil. I'll give it another couple of seconds just to make sure it's boiling like I prefer it. Okay, we're going to set the timer for one minute. And now is the point of time when you need to keep it stirred constantly. At this point, you've worked entirely too hard and you don't want all that hard work to go down the drain because it burned or it bubbled over all over your stove. And even though a lot of the cranberries have broken down, there's still, oh, there goes the timer. There's still a lot of whole cranberries. So it should make for quite the pretty presentation. So we're gonna turn this heat off and get to our jars. And again, you've seen enough of my videos it's the same process, hot jars, hot liquid, and these will process for 10 minutes. I'll bring you back when they're all done. Alrighty, this recipe made seven half pint jars. So seven eight ounce jars. They've all been debubbled. I've cleaned up all the rims with vinegar and now I'm just putting my lids on and they go on finger tight. 
and then they go directly into your hot water bath. So here's the hot water bath. It, it will come back up to a boil. And the bubbles that you see right now, those are just the pockets of air that are being released out of the jar. That's not an actual boil. And as you can see, only five jars fit. So I'll have to do a second batch with the other two jars. But uh, for now, we'll put the lid on. Wait for it to come up to a boil. Set the timer for 10 minutes. And then we'll just turn the heat off. Let them set for two, three minutes till the bubbling starts dying back down. And then we can take them out of the hot water bath. Well, there we have them. Seven beautiful jars of cranberry orange jam. I've already heard, I believe, four pings out of the seven. So I'm really excited. Um, now it's just a matter of waiting till they gel and set up. And we will be able to call this project done. I'm Bev. This has been Hitch Chick Urban Homestead. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I don't mention it very often, but please share this video. The more it gets shared, the more people will enjoy watching my videos. Hit that like button, the thumbs up button if you like this video. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a video.